VC, The Waxed here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a new record store I found. It's um, <clears throat> called Left of the Dial. It's in Santa Ana, California. Nice, cool logo bag that I got there. And uh, I kind of stumbled upon this record store by accident. I was down in Orange County, outside of L.A. Uh, my nephew was in town, hanging out with him, and... Uh, I pulled up record stores and uh, I ventured over to this place. It's uh, a nice little small place with a great selection of records. And um, the owner, his name's uh, Bill Michelle, is a, uh, here's the business card. Let's get a good shot of that over here. Um, great guy, very personable. Uh, they also, uh, carry Flor Florence uh, turntables. He sells those. But, um, uh, you know, a, a killer, he has new vinyl, but a killer use selection. And in fact, I was lucky to stumble in there when he acquired a large jazz collection that he's um, slowly processing into the store. But I found some titles I had been looking for. Um, as you've seen in my other videos, I'm collecting all this uh, Steely Dan records. So, um, you know, I I talk to record store owners and there's one band that they wish that they would reissue all their albums. But he had a great um, amount of Steely Dan's and I was able to get a Countdown to Ecstasy, um, a really nice copy um, with the inner lyric sheet and um, on the original ABC Black label there. Um, this sounds great. Um, I'll, I'll show you the whole album here in the back there with the fellas. Um, a great copy, I think, at a fair price. The pricing there, uh, uh, Bill has, is a very fair, fairly fair priced um, on his vinyl there. And I also was able, if you know, I, I go on Rachel the Music Man stream and... Uh, I ordered this album, Gaucho, from Amazon, and it came with, like, a hole in it. So I was able to find a nice, um, uh, in fact, this is the one, uh, Tim, uh, University of Vinyl says to get. Uh, this is, uh, Bill Ludwig, uh, mastered. It sounds beautiful. And I was very happy with my purchase of these two albums. Uh, next one I picked up was a reissue of Art Blakey in a big band, big band album. Um, great early Art Blakey stuff. Um, this is a reissue in, from the 70s on Bethlehem. There we go there. Um, see the back there of this? It sounds great. Uh, this is actually a promo. This is from that jazz collection he acquired. And um, I'm very happy with that. He also uh, had Record Store Day Leftovers, and this was a title that I did not pick up, but I, I was eyeballing, and this is Larry Carell uh, at the um, Village Gate. Um, very, he's a, you know, a, a Wanderman jazz guitarist, but this is very rocky. Um, if you like good, solid guitar playing, um, this is on blue vinyl, let me pull it out. Um, without marking it up. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm very happy with this. Sounds great. Um, apparently, uh, he was surprised that this wasn't uh, picked up by more people. So if you're looking to get this, I'm sure it's readily available online. Um, there's the inner there. There's Larry with a cheesy mustache. Um, but... Um, I recommend this. If you like good rocky guitar, um, highly suggest uh, picking this up. So my next pickup there was uh, a, a jazz singer, Bill um, Henderson. He's an actor too. You might remember him. Uh, I remember him in City Slickers, Billy Crystal movie. But um, he's a very distinctive jazz voice. This is uh, on... Uh, Verve, so it's a little more kind of mainstream mellow, a lot overproduced. Um, I know Danny Kay had shown a 
later, in fact, this is still in the shrink, by the way, um, a later Bill Henderson jazz album that he likes that I heard was great. Uh, a little more pared down with a guitar. I mean, with not guitar, Larry Carl still in my head, and with a piano and stuff. Um, but this isn't that bad. Um, I like this uh, old Verve inner. You don't really see them that much when you buy and used vinyl. They're kind of probably destroyed. And it's on the, there you go, the old Verve label. And my friend, the dust in my place, it's getting uh, picked up. My The last one I'm going to talk about is, um, the last album, is this uh, Three Sounds I've Been Looking For. Um, I've heard uh, a lot of people online talk about the Three Sounds, uh, early Blue, Blue Note. They're kind of uh, just good jazz, a like nice trio. I know uh, Gene Harris went on to have a nice uh, career playing with a lot of people, but uh, nice, solid jazz. Just sit back, relax, listen to it. Maybe have a cappuccino or, you know, an alcoholic beverage. But uh, I, I recommend this. It's a, uh, this is a 70s reissue. I'll show you the back there. And on this kind of 70s Blue Note label, the little Liberty own them, putting it out. Um, but it's great. And uh, at a nice price, I was very happy with this purchase. So in the rest of the video, I shot a lot of flipping footage in the store. So I know what a lot of people like in, uh, when I put up these videos. Sit back, relax, enjoy the flipping footage that is going on after this. But please, if you like when I do these videos, like, thumbs up. Um, please subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, comment in the, if you're liking what I'm doing when I show these record store videos. And uh, please, uh, if you're in, the, in Santa Ana, go down and visit uh, Left of the Dial. It's a good store. Until next time. Waxed out.